out exist in my head because of what you fucking losers have fucking told me. You know, that you're probably sitting there, you know, wondering how it is that somebody like me completely stepped out of line and refuses to be put in my place and always claps back and always, you know, gives people shit that give me shit and, you know, returns fire on everybody and doesn't really respect being pinned in any you know, one place and is a rebel against pretty much all structure that people try to impose on me. You're probably wondering what it is that got me to the point in which I was so willing to come out here and basically act in a way that most people would consider to be completely socially unacceptable and to violate taboos, to deliberately break the rules of traditional, you know, socialization and, and to behave in a way that, you know, was out there, you know, and would be seen as and scorned by, you know, a, you know, a very small cabal of fucking idiots. And, you know, the truth of the matter is that, number one, I, I was aggravated, you know, at, but number two was that the quiet things that no one really knows about and sees happening behind the scenes and the fact that this drama and and the fighting that has broken out on this this platform might i i hate to break it to you but the sum total of what i am socially speaking is not defined by this and it's not limited to this particular context and to the drama that exists on this platform much happens behind the scenes in an unmoderated fashion that you never are privy to and that i've deliberately kept behind closed parameters for privacy reasons and out of concern and for not only my privacy but the privacy of the people that are ultimately involved with me on you know a personal level it's out of a desire to be discreet that i hold so much of what transpires you know um because you know fundamentally like i don't kiss and tell you know for the most part or try not to and and you know the the level of frustration that I feel is just that I get plenty of social validation. It's just that none of it ever tends to happen in person. People will send it privately, which makes, you know, it makes my life more difficult in the sense that I have to deal with, you know, people that, you know, transparently, where, where it's transparently obvious that I you know, don't have a lot of supporters here on YouTube and I don't have a lot of people that are actually friendly to me. I mostly have hostels that come in to start shit and, you know, uh, they, they're they not here for any other purpose but to basically yell at me. Like, they're not there to be productive members of this channel. They're there to fucking troll me. And you look at that and you look at my unpopularity and I guess that it... It's a way for somebody that is a woman, for instance, to gain social credibility with people that suck, you know, and, you know, to that Amy chick, all I can say is, you know, I know better than you that he is a fuck boy. I don't know why you don't know that, but you're going to learn it and find it anyways. And when you do, I won't tell you I told you so, but I'm telling you now he's a fuck boy and you will find out very soon. <laughs> like... These guys, you're wrong about them to like them, you know? Like, they are not what they appear to be to you at all, and your perception is missing an enormous amount of red flags, you know? And anyways, uh, our revoir, you know, as they, you know, like, as they say, like, you know, much, much happens behind the scenes, and, you know... I laugh about it now because I see these American girls that are stooched in American culture that, you know, try so hard and so desperately to fucking hurt my feelings. But what they don't know is that I, I, I've been laughing for a while, you know, after a Twitter exchange that I got into where some chick was like, you just said something that bothers me. And I, you know, girls, this is why we need to gatekeep as far as our behavior is concerned, why we're of such value. And, you know, of course I'm thinking, you know, in response to all this, I'm, I don't know what gave you, like, the impression that you were actually able to cock block, 
you know, me and to keep me out of, you know, socialization and, and to keep women away from me and, and that you were able to behave as their protective overlord and to protect me, them from me, because I just go outside the system and voila, you know, and the whole thing is completely bypassed. And, and what I mean is just that I got sick of, I, I got sick of having to pretend to respect American women. I mean, some of them are okay, I guess, but, you know, quite, quite often, very annoying, very frustrating, very phony, very fake, groupy like behavior, attracted to fame, fortune, you know, uh, all the symbols of status and privilege and you know, they only, they only like Ryan, you know, because he's got high status and it's, you know, self, it's a little bit evident by the fact that everybody's bullying me that they don't consider me all that high on their social hierarchy and, and their network at, as far as their hierarchy is concerned. Like they consider me basement dwelling loser, you know, from, from their vantage point, I guess that's, that's how they see me. And I am rather cold and, and I don't care, you know, they can judge me however they want and they can see me however they want. But I know that their opinions about me say more about them than they do about me. I am not the fucking problem. Judgmental fucking assholes are... But anyways, um, I was never, never naturally going to, to run across this particular musician except for Guerrilla Warfare X's bullying. And you know what? I had no idea who the guy was before Guerrilla Warfare X started bullying me. And you know what about that? I am fucking unrepentant and completely proud of my ignorance in that regard. I had no idea who Upchurch was before, you know, Guerrilla Warfare X's behavior started to try and bully me. I was happy, you know, hanging out with Tom Shear and with Assemblage 23 and with my industrial bands and happy and whatever hell that was. And the fact that, you know, there were only 61 subs and some of these, you know, I, I take that as a personal accomplishment, you know? I like music that few people like. I'm into, you know, music that I had to struggle, you know, to find and uncover. And I earned my spot in that particular gothic community. And as far as, you know, Upchurch and, and his people are, they're a part and parcel of the culture that I have no desire to be part of or join in any way. I want nothing from them. I want nothing out of them. I just want to be completely severed from them. Like that's, that's basically the entirety of it. I don't want anything to do with him, his crew, his fans. Like I don't want anything from them at all, you know? So the clout chasing accusation, ultimately, like, why do I express my sentiments about this person if I don't want to ride off their like personal success? Um, because this person frustrates me so much that I need to vent. That's all. That's all there is to it.